The development priorities for the iDTEC engine were high performance and low carbon dioxide emissions. The performance of our 2.2 litre engine was already at a high level, but we wanted to reduce the emissions to or beyond the level of our rivals, who use smaller turbo diesel engines. To achieve a good CO2 figure, you need to optimize every aspect of the car. The aerodynamics of the new Civic, for example, are class leading. We have introduced idle stop technology on the iDTEC, and we have reduced friction in the engine to a minimum, all of which helps to produce an outstanding CO2 figure of 110 grams per kilometer. The idle stop system will be available on all three engines with a manual gearbox and saves 5 grams per kilometer of CO2. The improvement of the aerodynamics also played a key role in reducing emissions and improving performance, especially at high speed. To reduce friction in the engine, we focused on two areas. The first was to optimize oil flow, which reduces drag loss. The second area focused on the build materials, reducing friction in all the moving parts. We are very proud of the emissions figure we have achieved. But this was not the only priority. We wanted to achieve good drivability, a fuel-efficient, environmentally friendly car that is also fun to drive. The iDTEC has 150 horsepower and a high torque output of 350 newton meters, which is available across a wide range of RPM. With more power and lower emissions, the efficiency of the engine has been greatly improved. This is a high performance engine, and we want our customers to enjoy the experience of driving the new Civic. <laughs>